Hello guys, welcome to Coursera Programming. Uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, program number one and two for week ten. Uh, the program number one for week ten is uh, to find the root of the equation uh, of a given equation uh, uh, and to uh, print the number of steps performed in the uh, solution uh, using bisection method. So in this program, the input part has already so it's been done. Uh, here we can see that they have invoked two functions, float fun and float bisection. Uh, let's go into the solution. First, uh, we are declaring a math function, math uh, sorry, a math library uh, to invoke the math functions in this program. And uh, to and uh, into and then uh, for the in the main function. Uh, we are declaring a variable in max itr uh, maximum iterations. Uh, so after then we are uh, do doing a loop that is a two while loop. Uh, it will run when uh, until uh, the iteration is less than the maximum iterations. Uh, inside the two while loop, we have used a if statement. The condition is this: uh, if the product of this fun of a and fun of x is less than zero, if it is true. Uh, fun that is a function uh, used later in the program. This is float of fun float of x. Uh, that is returning this value return. And if this they are sending to a and x, if the product of these two return the uh, return float uh, is less than zero, then we are assigning x is equals to b or else. Uh, sorry, b is equals x or if this condition is false, we are setting x if a is equals x. And after that, we are sending uh, the address of x1, a, b, and iterations to the bisection function. Again, we are using uh, we are using another if function. Uh, we that is uh, if fabs if a b s a of x1 minus x is less than this variable. Uh, then we are printing the iterations, number of iterations and the root. There is the iterations, uh, that is sorry, the iterations itr and x1. We are printing it and then x is equals to x of 1. And after that, that is the, uh, the, the things, that is the function, float function fun and the void bisection. Uh, so let's just run the program once. And let's submit it. And yes, we have passed two tests. And now for the next one. Uh, next, uh, sorry, the next one, next program. The next program is yes. The next program is uh, to find the roots of the equation using a newton raphson method. That is the same program. Uh, we have to find the roots of the given equation. Again, the input part is done. We have taken to uh, they have taken to variables itr and max itr. It just stands for iterations and max itr stands for maximum iterations. So here uh, they have again declared. We have declared uh, two variables, float variables h and v error. Uh, then we are running a loop. Uh, iterations, iterations one. We are running. Uh, we are running a loop. Uh, that is from idr one unless it's less than maximum iterations and idr plus plus. And inside this, uh, we are in uh, running the h is equals f. Uh, that is the float function f. We are sending x in the zero and in df we are dividing it with df of x zero. Uh, we are sending x zero to df. That is float df. Which later in the program, there are two separate functions. If, uh, sorry, uh, dividing it and x1 is equals to x0 minus h, and then x0 is equals to x1. After this, we are printing, uh, it will run until uh, itr is uh, less than equals maximum of itr. If it is greater than that, then the loop will stop, and after that, uh, we are printing the roots and returning 1. 
then this float f and float df functions uh, and now just uh, let's compile and run the program and submit and yes we have done it uh, so just yeah so thanks for watching this uh, video please if you if you like this video then give a thumbs up like subscribe to our channel for programming that's it for today thank you